hypothesis testing for the binomial distribution. Let's do example one. First, we write the null hypothesis H naught P is equal to when you toss a coin, the probability obtaining a head is 0.5. That is if the coin is unbiased. Then here the alternative is thought the coin is biased. So then P is less than 0.5. Assuming H note is true, then our X has a binomial distribution with N, which is 6, and P, which is 0.5. Then we have a test value x is equal to 1. Now we can work out the probability to test the hypothesis at 5%. Do we just work out the probability x equal to 1? No. We need to work out the probability. 1, because we're testing the left hand side, then all the other values which are less than 1, so then this case is 0. So we have to work out the probability x is less or equal to 1. So that's the probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1. Then we're going to use the binomial distribution formula. So the probability of x equal to small x is n c little x p raised to the power small x times 1 minus p which is q raised to the power n minus little x. So, probability x equal to 0, so we have a 6c0 times 0.5 raised to the power 0 times 0.5 raised to the power 6 minus 0. And from the calculator, we get the answer to be 0.0157. Five. Then the probability x equal to 1, 6c1 times 0 0.5 raised to the power 1 times 0 0.5 raised to the power 5. And this answer is equal to 0 0.0. 93750. Then we add, so therefore the probability x less or equal to 1 is 0 0.1094. Then the significant level. is 5% which means the probability of 0.05. Now we compare this test probability with the significant level probability 
0.1094 is greater than 0.05. This means it can happen due to chance. Because this probability is large, or say it's larger than this significant level, so we say it can happen by chance. Because this can happen by chance, so therefore H0 is accepted. So, i.e., we haven't got enough evidence against H0. So, we have to say the coin is unbiased. Technically, we say we haven't got evidence to say it is biased. Now try this question yourself when you've done it, then watch the clip. First we write the null hypothesis H0 P, the probability of obtaining a 6 when you throw a die is 1 over 6 when the die is unbiased then the alternative is P is less than 1 6 then assuming H naught is true then X as a binomial distribution, n is 20 and p is 1 over 6. Test value x is 1. Now we work out the probability x is less or equal to 1. So first we work out the probability x equal to 0 and that is 20c0 times 1 over 6 raised to the power 0 times q which is 5 over 6 raised to the power 20. From the calculator, we get the answer to be naught or naught two six zero eight. Then we work with the probability when x equal to one twenty c one times one over six raised to the power one times five over six raised to the power nineteen. And we get the answer to be 0.1043. Now, for the probability x less or equal to 1, we add these two probabilities and we get 0.1304. Then our significant level is 10% which means probability is 0.1. Now we compare this with this. So our test probability 1304 
is greater than the significant level of probability then we say this can happen due to chance so therefore H naught is accepted joy is unbiased technically we saying we haven't got enough evidence against H naught so therefore H naught is accepted